Hi everybody, so this is the 3D printed piece here. Oscar Valera is a New Jersey high school teacher who's turning his personal hobby toward an urgent need. Here's your shield. To supply hospitals with protective gear now in short supply. Some people that were contacting me were asking for 40 to 50 shields to be used at these large hospitals in the state. And I started thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm like, wait a minute, this, these hospitals are owned by huge multi-billion dollar health services. And, and they don't have PPE? It, it just blew my mind. In just four days, Valera has printed and distributed 200 face shields to medical professionals across the country. The shields are designed to block droplets that may contain the virus and that are released by coughing, sneezing, and speaking. Across the country, in Sunnyvale, California, a nonprofit has been running 13 3D printers and three laser cutters nonstop producing 1,800 masks for local hospitals. And there are requests for another 13,000. Eric Hess, general manager of the nonprofit Maker Nexus, says 300 volunteers are helping in the effort. It's amazing. You know, I, I'm, I'm one person and you know, trying to kind of organize the people who are really doing the work, which is all the volunteers who are printing at home, you know, they're, um, you know, self-isolating, you know, stay-at-home orders. About 500 shields made by Maker Nexus have gone to the nearby Santa Clara Valley Medical Center. Dr. Sanjay Kurani is the medical director at the hospital. On any given one patient, talking to our nurses, per shift we're going through about five sets of PPE. You multiply that by three shifts, you're talking about 15 PPE changes per patient. Once COVID hits and we hit the surge, we could be in very critically low supplies of our PPE. I turn on my 3D printer. Back in New Jersey, Valera says he'll continue to do his part. I hole punched it. He says he's received pictures from staffs at hospitals across the country Made. using his shields. It, it just it, it just affects me very, very much.